So hi and welcome to this last part in dealing with difficult people. And now we're going to put the spotlight on the other person because we want to try to bring reason and clarity to their mind to get them not being so difficult anymore. But of course it's, we've got to be sure that we ourselves are in a good place which is why all the previous visit videos are a lot about what's going with us, on with us to push our buttons to make us fire up. But once we're under control, we can start to concentrate on looking at the psychology of the other person to bring them down. Now, first of all, it's always the same. We have different patterns or different ways of looking at the world where we feel things are unfair and therefore we get agitated and aggravated. And so the key question that you're going to ask the person will be something along the lines of, what mental patterns are you running or how do you look at the world such that you're getting negative about you know what we're discussing here now if you ask that question um, they're going to react in two different ways first of all they may step through the door that you've opened and admit to you well yes I'm just have a tendency to fly off the handle or I'd have a tendency to be very ironic or arrogant or whatever when this situation arises and I wish I could do something about it and then they've opened up for you and you need to be compassionate and then explore that further to see if you can help help them but the other reaction is of course that they'll just get defensive and they'll give you all the excuses well you did this and you did that so in that case uh, you have to slow down you can't push very hard you need to slow down the pace of investigating what mental patterns they're running now one useful way that I have found is to comment on their body language so something like look I notice that your fists are getting clenched and you're starting to get really agitated and fidgety and there's some irony creeping into your voice what's all that about what's going on for you and that begins first of all they have to admit that they're starting to get emotional because their body language is telling them that uh, and you're pointing that out to them and then um, it, it deflects away from their reasoning and starts to get them to look internally so you have to sort of take this at a pace which you feel the person is comfortable with and there's no set uh, pace to take this it depends on, on the other person and always uh, they are running these mental patterns now what's interesting is if you deal with enough difficult people you start to see commonalities between different people some people go very quiet and won't say a thing when they're trying to be difficult other people will take smart pot shots at you and start to try to pull you down with sarcastic comments um, other people um, will just get really angry and dogmatic that their way is the only way. In fact, I've recorded 16 different personality types of difficult people. And if you're interested to know more, I've got a course on dealing with difficult people. It goes through each of the sort of archetypes, if you will, and some practical steps on how to deal individually with each one. So once you identify the psychology behind uh, what type of difficult person they're doing, then there's some practical steps, uh, step A, step B, on how to get that person out of their shell, or how to placate that person, or how to um, answer that person in a way which um, makes them embarrassed and, and backs back from, from their decision. So below I'll put a link uh, in this blog video if you're interested in doing that. But I hope all of those videos have been useful to you and um, good luck in dealing with all those difficult people because there's a lot of them out there. Thanks.